surgical treatment of adrenal tumor. Hello. This is an educational video designed to improve your understanding and overall experience for your surgical treatment of adrenal tumor. Background and indication for surgery. Adrenal glands are hormonal organs located on the top of your kidneys on both sides. They are composed on inner medulla and outer cortex. Adrenal mass can represent a primary tumor arising from adrenal tissue, or a metastatic cancer from another part of the body. Primary adrenal tumor can be further distinguished as a functional versus non-functional tumor, based on whether it produces any hormones. In case of a functional adrenal tumor, surgical resection is the primary treatment, where removal tumor eliminates overproduction of hormone and associated syndromes. In case of a non-functional incidentaloma, surgery may be recommended based on the size and risk of cancer, as a diagnostic and therapeutic treatment. Surgical treatment is very effective for Cushing's and pheochromocytoma in over 90% of patients. In aldosterone-producing tumors, 80% of patient experiences complete normalization of blood pressure without any medications, while the rest of 20% also benefits with reduced blood pressure medication requirement. Likewise, in early-stage cancer patients, resection of adrenal cancer improves overall survival significantly. Also surgery has shown to render survival benefit for isolated metastatic adrenal cancer patients. Surgical Procedure Different types of adrenal surgeries exist. There are open approaches from either front of the abdomen or through the back known as retroperitoneal approach. Minimally invasive surgery using three to four small incisions can be also performed through the abdomen, as well as retroperitoneal approach. Minimally invasive adrenal surgeries results in less pain, smaller incisions, quicker recovery, and decreased length of hospital stay. However, in adrenal cancer cases or certain challenging situations minimally invasive surgeries are not deemed suitable. Also there is always a chance for an open conversion during a minimally invasive surgery if deemed necessary. Your surgeon will resect the adrenal tumor utilizing appropriate approaches, followed by a good bleeding control prior to the wound closure. If needed, a surgical drain can be placed to minimize free fluid collection in the abdomen. Post-operative care. Please remember to perform deep breathing and coughing exercise after the surgery to prevent any breathing complications related to your surgery and general anesthesia. Abdominal pain from the surgery is usually well tolerated with pain pills and you are encouraged to get out of bed and walk after the surgery. If a drain was placed, it will be removed once the drain output has decreased. We generally recommend wearing an abdominal binder for two weeks for your comfort. You should avoid strenuous exercises after the surgery for a month. Your skin is closed with dissolvable sutures, and suture removal is not required. If a stapler was used for the skin closure, they are usually removed in one to two weeks. In Cushing's patients, wound healing can be slower and the sutures may be left in place for four weeks. You may shower two days after the surgery. Bathing is okay in about a month. The final tissue diagnosis will be available about two weeks after the surgery. Depending on the final diagnosis, you may require any additional treatments. Complications Bleeding there is a risk of bleeding during the surgery, as well as risk of delayed bleeding after the surgery despite of good bleeding control during the operation. In rare occasions, blood transfusions or a surgical intervention may be required. Infection 
wound infection can develop at the site of the surgery, at the skin or sometimes in the abdomen. Adjacent organ injury. Adrenal gland is surrounded by many abdominal organs, and there are risks of adjacent organ injuries including the liver, spleen, pancreas, small bowel and colon, which may necessitate repair or resection of the injured organs. Recurrence There are always risks of recurrence for adrenal cortical cancer, as well as benign functional tumors. Bowel adhesions after abdominal surgeries, there are risks of bowel adhesions for both open and laparoscopic approaches. These adhesions usually do not cause any symptoms, but in some cases, bowel obstruction may occur requiring surgical interventions. Complications related to functional adrenal tumors. Cushing's syndrome. Cushing's patients are at a higher risk of infection, as well as blood clot formation secondary to a prolonged state of elevated steroid hormone level. To prevent blood clot formation which may lead to a serious complication called pulmonary embolism, you will need to wear compression stockings and receive anticoagulation shots. Furthermore, your body has been dependent on high level of steroid hormone, and therefore, to prevent a sudden drop of steroid hormone level in your body, you will be placed on a slow taper steroid regimen. Aldosteronoma Hypertension in aldosteronoma will resolve in about 80% of the patients. Rests of the patients will typically have decreased antihypertensive medication requirements as well. Patients with essential hypertension, elderly male family history of hypertension, or refractory hypertension while on spironolactone treatment are at a higher risk of persistent hypertension. Pheochromocytoma Due to the effects of excessive catecholamine levels in your body with episodic hypertensive crisis, associated with pheochromocytoma, close monitoring and appropriate medical treatments before and after the surgery are essential for management of these patients to prevent life-threatening complications. Patients are often observed in intensive care unit after the surgery for close monitoring. This concludes the educational video on adrenal tumor treatments.